Well, this is not the typical find, but it is a Sears. It is a, what I believe to be a 66. I say 66 because the serial number is a six and it's got the typical 66 blue underneath the jade mist, even though this is a factory paint on this uh, generator, but it's showing up all over the place. It's a 3000 watt, 12 horsepower, belt driven generator. And this is how big it is compared to the size of the bed. I mean, this, those that know the size of these engines know that they're not the smallest thing. Um, I was told that it runs, but it has a knock at higher RPM and the generator head does not work currently. But I noticed that somebody has done work to it. They have put a new outlet in there. So it might be a problem with the outlet, the fact that it's got electrical tape around it to kind of seal it off. And the fact that there's an empty receptacle down there. Because this is for sure added on. Um, I do not know anything else about it really. I, I'm i thinking that the, I don't know how bad it knocks. He did not start it for me because he just belt started it off of one of his other engines. But since there's still blue paint on the muffler, I'm thinking that it's, track, it's probably like, sorry for the bed creaking so much. I'm standing on the tailgate. But I'm thinking that this, this engine might not have a ton of hours on it. And the gas tank's in, in good shape. I mean, usually these generators don't have a whole lot of use on them. It has pretty clean oil. Yeah, so that's the the newest find. If I can't get the generator head going, um, I might just pull the engine off and use the engine on a uh, on a tractor if I need it, because this thing is heavy. It's sitting on eight coil springs, and even with two people picking this up, I I, I wouldn't be surprised if this generator weighs about three hundred pounds. It is heavy. I mean, I, it's just unbelievable how heavy it is. I mean, that's quarter inch thick angle iron everywhere for the entire frame so it's a very well built unit I'm sure you guys will see more of this in the future but I figured I'd show you guys the newest find before it comes out of the truck and goes in the garage and gets put away for a while so there's the 1966 3000 watt Sears generator